Hey guys, today we are gonna have a lot of fun. I'm peeling back the curtains or the door, shall I say, to Weld Tech Designs. We're gonna head inside and check out all the cool things getting built here at Weld Tech Designs. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think the biggest thing is, is you guys are just going to get introduced more in depth to our parts and pieces, as well as some of the new components that we're designing in our never ending strive to be the best. If this is your first time at the channel, I want to welcome you. My name is Jeremy Johnson. I am the founder of Weld Tech Designs. I've been building custom vehicles for more than 25 years and am one of the industry leaders when it comes to van and RV suspension. As you see behind Behind me, I have some amazing vans just right here hanging out in the parking lot. And if you're ever in El Cajon, California, you're welcome to stop by our facility and check out everything that we have to offer. So right here, first thing is, is this is gonna be a 2022 Ford Transit. This is the all wheel drive Ford Transit. You guys have probably seen this van in a ton of videos because we've really been promoting um, the Trail Hero kit. That's what this is. Really, it's an altitude kit on steroids, um, sort of say. So mid-roof van, this is running a 265 70, 70, 16 tire. We have this killer Illumines front winch bumper on the front of that. That thing looks super sexy. Um, you know, of course, you guys, if you've been around the channel for any time period, you know I love my method wheels as we have the methods on the Transit. We have them on the Chevy Express. You know, I'm pretty sure I have them on every vehicle that I possibly own except for my motorhome. And um, I've heard through the grapevine as well that methods for the motorhomes are just maybe around the corner coming in 2025. So that's something really exciting is our never ending goal to just keep developing cool parts with you know really great partners um, like Method Race Wheels. Um, so on this, this is really nice too. This is gonna have the progressive springs in the rear and we're running 2.5 shocks on the Ford Transit all the way around. These are all gonna be the King shocks. And what's nice about this is it's gonna have that remote reservoir here. I'm gonna be able to have the knob. I can have my compression adjuster and easily adjust that, just sticking my hand in there and do it. A ton of clearance. And this is ready for a build out. So if you wanna do a build out on your Ford Transit, um, this spring pack is gonna be great for 1800 pounds. Right next to it, I have like virtually the same sort of thing. Progressive leaf springs, 2.5 Kings. Um, and this is on a, the Chevy van platform. This is a, a, a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. This thing's a beast. It's sitting on 35s, um, lockers front and rear. Uh, and I've also re-geared this to a 410. You guys have seen like probably this in a bunch of videos as this is, was our SEMA video. Field van, pop top on there, all of our seats, flooring. I mean, I think it's locked, most of these things. No, look at that, it's not. So as you can see, a ton of kids stuff in here, um, but you know, the Toyota Sienna seats with the recliners, that's always really, really nice. The wood floor, these are on sliders. So the seat actually slides forward and back. Um, I have not put windows in it. That's one of my goals. So if you're watching this video, um, you've done windows in your Chevy Express or your Ford Transit. I really need a window in this as well. I'd love to hear from you guys what windows you've ran because when it comes to windows, it's kind of out of my, I, I've never done it. You know, we did it on our SEMA build. We put some normal windows in it. I'd really like to do something different in the Chevy van. And in the transits, I've even seen the one that kind of opens. I definitely like that. Don't know the name of it. Just have uh, seen it on YouTube, right? A lot of cool things going on in this van. This has been fun. This is my workhorse. This is towing race cars to the trailer. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time at the racetrack and that's why having a motorhome is so important whether we're towing uh, this little enclosed, you know, to a show or we are, you know, hanging out at the racetrack. There's our Weld Tech Designs trailer. So hopefully you see it on the road someday. And if you do, you know, be like, hey, I saw this, here's where it is. We're gonna keep going. We're heading over towards shipping department. And uh, what's cool, this are all kits that are gonna be going out. So if you have, if you want to order any of these parts, we do ship them pretty much worldwide these days. Um, you know, this is going out. This is uh, Elmer Milken. I can't wait for you to get your lift kit. Hopefully you're watching this video and be like, hey, that's my parts. I can't wait to get it. Uh, this is gonna be a kit. This is actually getting installed here. That's why it's not all wrapped up. So you can see this is gonna be a Chevy pre-runner bumper on here. It's getting the three inch lift spindles. These are all the TIG welded spindles. 
So we'll go inside and kind of show you a little bit more about the difference between the TIG welded spindles and the cast spindles. And that was a big thing that we started doing last year to really save you guys money. Uh, the cast spindles are a lot less expensive to produce and it's keeping $500 in your pocket. That's a big plus. Um, this is gonna be a hood. So this is all the same stuff. So this is a Chevy hood. This is all gonna go on the same kit. Look at that, we're putting methods on this on this build as well. I'm gonna assume we're going to a 285 70 17 tire. That's pretty standard on the Chevy five inch kits. Uh, that we're doing if you're going to run you know a three inch spindle you may be at it like a 265 and what's great is all this information is going to be on our website so if you're wondering well heck if i do a three inch kit if i do a five inch kit what size tire can i run well all this information if you scroll down you'll be able to see like tire size fitment things of that nature which is going to be really helpful if you want us to install it or you want to get a price on what it costs to install it from your local dealer you can also go to installation cost and it's gonna have those prices as well. Really trying to give you guys, you know, all the information that you're going to need when it comes to how much is it gonna to be to lift my vehicle and you know, how much is it gonna to be to install the kit. And right here you can see we have a four inch kit installed on this motorhome. This is gonna be like a 29 foot class C. This is on the E450 chassis as we can see right here, super popular style motorhome. And it's crazy because when you look at this, this does still have the stock tires on there as well. You can see that that's at 225, 75, 16, and it doesn't re look ridiculous. I mean, honestly, if I were to say, this is really how these motorhomes should come, um, you know, nice ground clearance throughout the whole motorhome, coming all the way down to the back, nice room in the wheel well, as you look in the back of there, you'll be able to see our giant, massive uh, progressive leaf springs and our Fox shocks in the back. But really what's important is you come all the way to the back. You know, we've gone over this in a ton of videos is just look at how much clearance you have. You're not going to be uh, ripping your sewer hose, your sewer uh, dump off of your motor home whatsoever. A ton of clearance on there. And that's a big plus because we never want you to have a shitty day. We're going to keep walking around this thing and come into the back because typically on the back of these things, and you can actually see where this is actually drug on the back hitch. And um, you know, really that's the goal. A lot of these hang even lower on your motorhome. Can't get it in your driveway. It drives like crap. You know, a lot of people will tell you that there's other ways to go. Um, unfortunately, like we're gonna tell you like, hey, the best thing to do is, uh, is to do a weld tech design suspension because we're not putting band-aids on it we're not putting you know gold shocks on it that are overpriced and work like crap and have zero compression and that's why you're having to run a uh, a uh, sumo spring on it as well the sumo springs doing the absorption and the coney shock is really just working on reaction or the extension or rebound of the shock and then heavy duty sway bars and all this other crap and that's the thing is like with a weld tech design suspension on your motorhome, you're getting the ground clearance that you want. You're going to get the better ride and you're not having to put all these band-aids. And I have to say our suspension installed is still less than all the band-aids that you are going to be. They're going to tell you that you should put on there. And that's where it's just, it's, it's really sad and unfortunate to me because like, man, it just sucks. And then, you know, we did a series of rooted videos where we tried to bring back the OG van. And uh, unfortunately, it's still just sitting out here rotting. I know that uh, I would love to get this thing back in the shop, maybe peel that wrap off of it and uh, do some fun things. Or maybe we leave the wrap on it and uh, keep it a sleeper van and just do some killer suspension on it. And what do you guys think? What should we do on that? You know, this is what this comment section for is just, hey, you, you guys hanging out with me. We're talking, having a good time. Uh, learning about the Weld Tech Designs products and uh, what we have going here on going on here in the shop. We're going to walk into the main shop coming through the entryway. So if you were to come to Weld Tech Designs, you're going to kind of get that first person view of like what it's like to come to our facility here at Weld Tech Designs. Here we go. So this is our showroom here at Weld Tech Designs. 
it's going to just have a lot of our main components, a lot of our Ford bumpers right here on display, if you want to see them, um, and a lot of all of our other products. So if you've seen us at a show, these are the same displays that you're going to see out there as well. So this is going to be all of our Ford Transit suspension that we're going to have, our 2.5 shocks, our 2.0 uh, rear shocks, our lower control arms, lower control arm support bracket. These are our Ford Transit HD springs. So if you have a dual rear wheel Ford Transit, you have an Echo, this is gonna be a spring that's gonna work really well for you. Um, our aluminum coil spacers, that's gonna fix your camber. A lot of cool parts that are going to be on there. When we come to the other side, we're gonna have all of our Chevy components. And this is gonna be the one big thing. So we wanted to talk about the spindle. We saw how beautiful this TIG welded spindle is. That's gonna be really nice. And then right next to it, we're gonna have that cast spindle. So a lot less parts going into it. It's one giant piece of steel that's, um, and it's just a lot less to make. Now here's the one big thing about this, is if you kind of look at the angles of the two necks that you have on here, this doesn't allow for those crazy wheels. So this will fit your stock wheel on there. Um, you're gonna have a little bit less clearance. So if you're trying to run an 18, a 20, um, something bigger than a zero offset, this is, you may run into a problem where you can run pretty much any wheel on the TIG welded spindle because we've kicked the neck back. We've had more room because of the material. That chromoly material is a lot stronger. So just some cool things. Guys, we talked about shocks when we were outside and uh, this is our shock display. Kind of gives you an idea. You get to put some hands on some shocks and really feel what it's like to use a shock. I really need to make a video just on this whole shock rack by itself. And as you can see, I'm going to pull this Coney shock up and you can see like how hard that is. The shock has a ton of rebound in the shock. So it's completely, it's just stiff. So it's all reaction. But if I were to go and push on this, I want to make sure I'm like doing it justice. This is a brand new shock, never been on a vehicle. And you can see like just how easy that pushes down. Now that's what's trying to control the ride on your 22, 24,000 pound motorhome. It's just not gonna do it. This is, a this is a factory shock and you can see it even has like a dead zone. It's just garbage. This is your factory shock. So when you're wondering why your F53 drives like crap, it's your factory shock. And honestly, if I was gonna recommend any shock, I'd be like, hey, if you want an inexpensive shock, run a Bilstein. Otherwise, we're gonna go bigger. I've actually stolen the 2.5 King off of this because I had to install it. Still waiting for more of them to come in. But you can just see the massive size between the two pistons in here. This is gonna be a single monotube shock. This is a dual tube. It's gonna have the piston in there. Piston's a lot smaller. Again, guys, that's like a whole nother video on this kind of stuff. But uh, as we walk through it, this is our showroom and now this is gonna be where the fun <clears throat> is really beginning. So all of our parts gonna be here. It's all gonna start as raw material. So whether that's, you know, on a rack getting delivered and you can see like as we turn around here, a lot of material just on the shelf ready to get cut up. Um, this is our auto feed saw. So this is just gonna auto feed. So like when we're making these radius arms, um, it's gonna auto feed. It's gonna cut all of these tubes that we have going on here. <clears throat> So you can see that's pretty, uh, you know, a lot of radius arms getting built. These are our Ford Transit lower control arm support brackets. I mean, look at that. Look at all the super nice welds. That's what we really pride ourselves on is, you know, the craftsmanship that goes into, you know, each one of our products. So if you need uh, some of these parts, you know that, hey, they're gonna be available again soon if they're out of stock, but a lot of parts going on. As we look up on the bench, you're gonna see a couple bumpers getting built. And uh, these are both gonna be the uh, Ford E-Series uh, two winch bumpers. So two winch bumpers, and you have the option of doing like that classic top hoop on there as well. But uh, we'll keep walking through this. So we were talking about that classic top hoop. So that's what's going on here. This is one of our bumper stations, and so they are actually putting together a Ford tube winch bumper. Don't watch the bright light. And uh, what's nice about this here, 
is gonna be like, it's gonna, it's gonna give you a lot more protection up on the top. So if you ever were to hit something, it's gonna protect your whole front end. The goal with this being pushed out on the top is that whatever you hit, if you end up hitting an animal, the goal is to push it down underneath your car versus having it come up and be the passenger. We wanna keep these vehicles uh, in their wild habitat, uh, not in your, in your uh, driver or passenger seat. So a couple different stations. Um, this one is obviously a mess right now, but this is, uh, we're building a bunch of stealth bumpers on here. <clears throat> and now what's nice is like, so all of these are bent, laser cut and notched. So everyone's gonna fit really, really nice. Um, all of these are all CNC bent, CNC notched. Uh, it's just, Killer, killer. So you can see we have our fixture up in here where this is uh, where that bumper will all get fit up and built. Uh, and again, that's our Chevy Stealth winch bumper. So two of our bumper stations in here. Oh, see, and as we come around here, there's actually all of the, the main structure to it. So that's all the main structure. That's where the winch is gonna go up on there as well. So definitely, you know, really really cool so if you're kind of wondering how they get made um, that's it and what's nice about all of our bumpers is uh, for assembly it works really well because all of these bumpers all key together and that's a big thing that's helped us just improve things overall um, we're going to keep going through it so over here this is what uh, we added to the shop this year this has been awesome this is our arc light dynamics cnc plasma cutter and uh, you can see by just the amount of missing metal on here, how much stuff that we've been cutting on this Arclight Dynamics table. And the big thing that this has helped us with as well is really just taking like the R&D process from like uh, just design to really, it's sped that whole thing up. So for instance, what we have going on here, we got Dan, he's killing it. Um, and uh, what we're doing is we are building a new tube winch bumper for the Ford Transit. So I know a lot of people have been asking like, hey, when are you gonna build something cool for the Ford Transit? Other than a cool lift kit, well, this is it. Here's a good look at the bumper. We don't even have a name for it. What should, uh, what should we name the Ford Transit new bumper? Um, this thing is gonna be badass like definitely different than what anybody else is doing um, I mean if we're gonna look at some things that are just gonna be amazing on this is gonna be like look at the approach angle that we're gonna have not to mention that skid plate that's gonna go on there is gonna totally protect the intercooler on the bottom that's something that's really important because if we were to go look at like maybe our bumper on the transit you don't get that same sort of protection that you're gonna get with our bumper um, this is going to have the skid plate will actually run all the way up from the top all the way down to the bottom You can see this awesome worn VR 12 s winch mounted up in there super nice and tight all the way against the grill as well So I just love how this is coming together. This has been something that we've been working on uh, for the last couple weeks just kind of like you know putting pieces on trying it seeing what we like and really just building it to the transit versus like where sometimes we'll build these things just simply in CAD and and then put it on the transit and then make changes. Uh, we went old school on this one. We're just, uh, we're building the bumper on it. Once we get this all done, yes, we are drawing all the parts in the computer and then we'll make a 3D model of the whole thing and it'll just be even better. Is that possible? So you can see for any of the stuff that we're building here in the shop, Mittler Brothers tubing notcher. Man, you see that, dude, always, always, always. Got to keep an eye on these guys. Dude. This is why I have a full-time job. So lots of radius arms getting built right now. Um, and again, like just looking at everything, like just looking at just overall, like 
So a lot of times these things are powder coated and you can hide a lot of things in powder coating. Just wanting to show you guys really like how nice they look even when they're not powder coated. I mean, yeah, just complete sexy, right? So we also have a lot of other things. Uh, Quigley, uh, three inch kit. So if you have a Chevy Quigley, you want to give it uh, three inches of lift. That's what this is. This is a uh, drop down bracket for it. Um, so a lot of other little parts and more radius arms and then more metal ready to get cut up into uh, small pieces and be a bumper or you never know what we're going to build for you next. So we're going to keep walking through the shop. Um, so what we're doing is actually this is one of the stations when we already showed you a lot of the parts are getting all cleaned and prepped um, before that they will go to powder coat. And that's the thing, so like we were saying, so all of our parts are, you know, cut. They all have like the little ears on them, so this will lock into another part. And that's what's made it, uh, you know, it's simple and easy to build um, by just having all the little keyways and all the parts. So these are all bumper parts. So when we're ready to build you a bumper, you order a bumper. Uh, and if it's gonna be custom built to like your specifications, we're able to do that. Or we can just go straight to cutting it. Uh, back here we have our 80 ton press brake. So like all of these pieces that, you know, if they need to have a bend in them, um, and you can see like that part has two bends in it, we can bend everything back here. This is a, a radius arm bracket and it just doesn't have the sleeve welded in it yet. So on here as well, these are all the tube rock sliders. This is gonna be a tube rock slider for a Chevy. So again, so there's the part and you can see how it just keys in there really nice. So then it's gonna be nice and easy to just put a weld on it. You're not having to measure anything. Everything just keeps going and locks all together. So there it is. And um, so um, a lot of this other stuff is, you know, whether we're drilling holes, you know, we're cutting stuff on the iron worker or the time saver, you know, all the kind of pieces and parts that you need in order to, that we need to like fabricate everything. You know, normally you guys just get to see like the nice finished version of it, but this is where it's all made here in like our fabrication area between the, oh, you know what, here, we, we missed the whole, we missed the whole spot. So we got it. We got excited and came out just straight to it. And so where all that's getting done now, we have other workstations back here. So you can see like a lot more radius arms getting built. So whether it's, you know, this is gonna be the second stage of the radius arm right here. A ton of brackets, so you can see all the radius arm brackets as well getting built and then and you come to this first station this is where the initial stage so we're taking the radius arms from just the raw pieces just each individual piece you know this is going to be the top plate um, the bottom plate and then it's going to all go into the fixture here as we come back and just see so you can see like everything goes into the fixture it gets all tacked up and then we're able to go ahead and weld it up and make it a cool part other than just a bunch of raw material that uh, is gonna do you no good. So yeah, a lot of pieces and parts, a lot just hanging out on the shelf. You know, all of this ready to get built. So these are more Chevy three inch kits. So what we'll do is we're, right now we're doing a production run of radius arms. And then this looks like, because of all the pieces that are on the shelf, this will be something that is next um, when it comes to building that. Maybe, and then you can see like, this is all chromoly plate. This is for the Chevy coilover kit. So same kit that's on the van, all chromoly. Look at how cool it is, see if it's cool this. So that's gonna be your plate. You can see all the pieces that go into this that are gonna lock into place in this. Um, and this is going to be like the coilover mount will end up sitting in here, but just such a killer part when it's all done. Uh, the lower control arms for the Chevy Express. So you can see there's like so much that goes into like each part. Um, 
Ford Transit lift spindles. So there it is. And just look at how sexy this is. So when we get back into the spindles, this is the transit spindle. You can see just all TIG welded. I mean, just looks amazing, amazing, amazing. You really don't even want to powder coat it because just every weld looks so nice. But, uh, you know, we don't want it to rust. And that's where it's like, you can see just what a massive chunk of steel this starts out as before it's all machined. So that's it. That's the whole hub piece. That's going to be this piece here. So a lot of pieces that go into this. So even like, like that's going to be the strut mount. So that's the top part of the tube right there. So when people always ask like, oh, why is this part so expensive? Well, look at all the machine parts that have to go in to just making the one part. There's like the little clevis piece that's going to go and fit right up on there on the top of it there just to be able to tighten up the strut on there. You know, you're going to have your brake caliper spacers. Each one of these has to get machined. And those are going to get welded in right there. Um, and then you have your tapered steering. So that's got a tapered hole. You can see the holes bigger, smaller, and that's going to go on here as well. That's going right there. So a lot of parts. And then that doesn't even include, oh, look at this. So that's for your lower ball joint right there. I mean, just look at how nice all of these parts are. And keep in mind, like all these parts are machined right here in California, in the US. Um, none of this is coming from overseas. So a lot goes into building just a set of spindles other than just simply welding them up. You know, then you have all the sheet metal, but just before you can even do that, just all the machine parts um, that go into each one of these. So we're going to keep going down. Um, a lot of this is going to be like our Chevy, our Chevy spindle parts too. So all this is all 4130 chromoly. Uh, so it's, you know, definitely a lot, lot stronger. Um, and then when we come over here, so look how cool. So right there, this is the beginning of a Ford Transit altitude kit. This is going to be all the material you can see all press broke. Um, and then a ton of parts that are going to go into this as well when it comes to building it. So there is a run of, uh, you know, Ford Transit lower control arms coming up. A lot more parts. And this is something pretty cool. So look at how big and thick this tube is. This is for the new arm. This is the Gen 3 arm that has the caster or builder built into it. So using 250 wall DOM tubing, this has the adjuster that goes in. So it's a double adjuster. So now you don't have to take that rear pivot point off if you want to add more caster to the vehicle. Um, so that's something that we just came out with that is pretty darn awesome. So we're going to keep moving through the shop. And then uh, while you're in here too, you know, a lot of my craziness is, is so this is the shop that um, WellTech Designs not began in, but when, uh, when I moved into this facility, we were only in this shop and it was uh, me and one other guy. And uh, you can see I started my gas pump collection and all of my craziness in here. That's something that I uh, just, I really like the old gasoline, petrolina stuff. And uh, that's pretty cool. So. You can see that that's kind of like all over the shop here. Um, and as we keep moving through the shop, we're gonna move into the next bay. And this is where all of the installs are done. So right now we're not, we're just doing a install on a motor home. So this is a, let's go look at it. Let's, let's go take a look. So this is a 21 foot. So little guy motor home E450. And on this is getting a four inch kit. So you can see all that suspension all just drooped out. Look at that. So we're going to have the coil spring, the Fox shocks, um, you know, look at those long radius arms. So there you go. That's how sexy they look when they're all done and installed uh, on the E450. All right. So as we continue on, this is another awesome one. So this is the Thor and this is, so this is an access. So the Thor Axis and Thor Vegas are both built on the E450 chassis, which is like, what? Like why? Well, I can't answer that question why, 
But I can tell you that the amazing part about it is we're able to do the same suspension that we do on the Class C's on these Class A's. So the Thor Axis in Vegas. Now these things are definitely big and heavy and they sit really, really low. So by doing this kit on there, it just really improves the overall handling of the coach as well. It's gonna give you that additional ground clearance that you oh so need, not even want, just kind of need um, on this coach. So we're gonna do the same sort of thing on the front of it. It's gonna be the coil springs, the Fox shocks, uh, the extended radius arms, modified beams, we're dropping down the sway bar. And that's the one thing we didn't really look at on that one is doing the steering stabilizer kit. So if you're looking for some upgrades to your motorhome and you're really not ready to go, yes, I wanna go all in with it, know that the steering stabilizer from Weld Tech Designs is a great option. And you have three options for it when it comes to that. You can do it in a Bilstein, you can do it in a Fox, or you can do it in a King steering stabilizer. And maybe you're thinking, well, down the road, I'm gonna do this kit and I wanna be able to add Foxes, or I want to be able to add kings and I want my steering stabilizer to match well you are able to do that and the steering stabilizer will go on any factory motorhome so this is just got pulled in we're starting this right now this is going to get the full kit as well um, a lot of cool things you know going into this so you can see as we come back here let's go let's take a look at this so these are the massive springs going in this particular coach Again, that big old smiley face, super happy springs. They're gonna be happy to be driven on. Well, when we come out here, you can see like, here's the beginning pile of our spring. But this is the spring that, come, that came out of that motorhome. You can see how that spring is just completely flat. So under load, it's actually going to be negative. And you can see that it's been under so much load that it actually started to bend this main leaf right there. If you look at that main leaf, get all the way up close to that, you can see that this has started to bend the opposite way, just being under so much load. That's never good. We'd hate for your spring to break and then just totally strand you. So another nice feature about this is this is gonna be the main front eye that you have on there. You're gonna see that this has one single wrap. So that was that weak spot on the other one where it was bending. So what we're doing on our spring as well, when we come over to this, well, I lied. So on the majority of our springs, this one actually doesn't have it. On the majority of them, we're doing like a double wrap on that front eye in order to make the spring even stronger. But we're also supporting it farther out on the leaf as well, so it'll still fit in there. Um, but again, like this leaf pack is actually built to the weight of this particular coach. Now I wanna show you what I'm talking about when it comes to springs. So we're gonna head all the way down to shipping um, before I guess I do, let's, uh, we'll walk in and show you a little bit of the craziness in here. So if you don't know, we always, I'm always talking about going racing and doing fun stuff as well as growing up garage, which is Weld Tech Designs nonprofit foundation. But um, this is kind of like my fun shop down here. This is where the kids race cars all are. Um, this is Caden's new micro sprint. Uh, we started racing this car this year. It's pretty ridiculous. It's got a 600cc uh, Yamaha street bike engine in it. Um, it's pretty nuts. And if you want to see more of this car, go over to Caden Johnson 91 um, on YouTube, on Instagram, and uh, check out all the fun stuff. Uh, the kid's killing it, doing a great job. And, uh, you know, we're just having fun as a family. I think that that's the big thing is, you know, keeping these kids um, doing things, you know, whether it be sports, whether it be racing, it's really keeping these kids busy. And uh, it's really an opportunity for them to learn a lot that goes into, you know, getting your car ready, doing a lot of stuff, but just basic school skills. And that's where like growing up garage is all about, you know, teaching kids all about tools. So now that we're on the outside, we're gonna walk all the way down um, to shipping and we really wanna show you a lot of, you know, the different springs. And like when I say, you know, one size fits all, um, that's definitely not the case here at Weld Tech Designs. One size definitely does not fit all. And uh, I think that that's key to this is really having you guys understand that Depending on your coach, there's a lot of variables that go into it. And that's where like our goal is to really build you 
the best motorhome suspension. And it's like, look at this, doesn't matter how big it is. This is a giant pallet uh, for an RV. This is a full rear bumper with a swing out, with the spare tire carrier. We have the box on there as well as the whole six inch kit. So someone right here is uh, getting the whole shebang, a lot of cool stuff, you know, for their motorhome. So it doesn't matter, little stuff, big stuff, we can get it all shipped and as we come in here, this is going to be the shipping department and you can see like how many different leaf springs that we carry um, and really that comes down to all about like the weight of your vehicle. So a lot of beams in here. So this is what we were talking about on a lot, the majority of our springs has this double wrap on there. This is the military wrap, so that front eye actually has two springs going around it. So it's going to make that a lot stronger, which is going to be huge when it comes to your heavy motorhome, your heavy van, whatever it may be. So you can see just a massive amount of springs in here. And really, it's because everyone for different weights, different vehicles, um, different needs. So that's where, you know, we are really the only one in the industry that is really building out springs to your vehicle. A lot of other companies are adding springs, you know, doing like, oh, add three or four springs to it. Um, and we're just kind of taking a whole different approach to it. The benefit in this is gonna be that we're getting more springs, thinner material. Um, and especially if you have an older vehicle, your bushings are worn, they're shot out. Like you're able to now like I can just put in a new set of springs. You're not gonna be replacing bushings. You're not gonna be doing all this stuff. So it's a lot of preventative maintenance at the same size as um, you know, getting the real big benefits of the suspension. So a lot of Fox shocks, more kits getting ready to go out. Um, you know, a lot of I-beam kits. That's what, you know, the E-series uh, is what we're really big on. But, you know, transit, let's go look. Um, we got some, we saw what the transit arms look like in the beginning stages of them. But as we come over here, these are some two wheel drive arms. These are gen two, two wheel drive arms where they're gonna have the adjuster plate is gonna move in and out. What's really nice about that is that's gonna be able to control camber on there because your stock arm, you have no camber control. Um, and then this is gonna be where you have your caster adjustment. So you can simply loosen up the jam nut. You can turn this out or in you know, out if you want more casters. So you're able to control that, then tighten up that jam nut. Now it's a lot of little things that go into our kits that really separate us from everybody else. And this is, look at the misalignments that we machine for this. And the reason being is like, we want the most surface area on that because that lower portion of the pivot where this actually goes in is like the thinnest sheet metal. And to me, I almost consider it single shear. And uh, when we were in the fab shop, I showed you those lower control arm support brackets. I really definitely recommend if you're gonna do like a lower control arm, you wanna make your, that whole unibody stronger to this rear pivot point. You don't wanna break those bolts and it doesn't matter whose kit you have. Um, that's definitely something worth the investment, I think for you know, the couple hundred dollars that they are. So that's gonna be all of that there is a set of gen three arms. So you see that big adjuster, the big threaded piece in there. So it's gonna go into the same arm, the same, the, it's gonna go into the arm the same way. Just the adjuster is gonna go in there. So this is a gen three arm for an all wheel drive for transit. And uh, actually there's one right here, just sitting. Nope, that's a gen two. So there you go. There's uh, some of our Ford transit stuff. Oh, see, here we go. So that's the Gen 3 arm. So you can see that the big adjuster goes in there. So if this is locked into place, I can actually spin this right here and you can see that it's actually getting longer. So I'm adding caster to it without pulling it apart. And now as I turn it the other way, the arm is pulling in, it's getting smaller and I'm taking caster out of it. Super rad if you don't wanna have to pull your stuff apart you wanna fine tune your caster adjustment, you wanna move your, your tire away from your fender well, this is an easy way to do it. This is the Gen 3 arm from Weld Tech Designs and that's available in the Altitude kit. So just killer parts, man, killer parts that we're building here. Um, more radius arms sitting on the shelves, brackets. 
Um, yeah, I mean, up on the top, a lot of bumpers up there. So if you're looking to add a bumper to it, give us a call. We hopefully have it in stock. And if we not, if we do not, um, you know, just maybe like a two week lead time. We're trying to really reduce our lead times with, you know, our fabrication. But yeah, I mean, this is uh, shipping a ton of stuff, you know, pieces and parts that go into, you know, getting you guys amazing parts. Um, that's pretty much it. I think we're coming back to the showroom right here, the back to the entry zone of the whole facility. Uh, you know, we have more than 12,000 square foot facility, you know, um, here and then not to mention outside and more stuff going on. But uh, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little walkthrough talking about some of the parts that we're building. If you saw anything specific that you would like to learn more about, you'd like uh, me to discuss in a future video, this is what the comment section for, um, you know, just really like showing you guys what we're doing, what's coming up. You got to see that Ford Transit front tube winch bumper. I'm curious how many of you guys uh, are looking for a winch bumper for your Ford Transit. Again, comment down below, let us know, get on that waiting list. Um, we're gonna start creating that if you're interested in doing it. A lot of really things, cool things coming for the Ford Transit still from Weld Tech Designs. You may have thought, man, we already did everything cool. Nope, I got a lot more coming for you. So uh, that's all I got. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can come hang out with me a lot more. Otherwise, I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs. I'll see you guys in the next video.